endless white sand beaches with blue, blue water on the coast. And there are these majestic trees and they take 300 years to grow food. When you travel and you're not in your comfort zone, your presence is more there, more weight. I went to a ceremony with them and stars actually showed up. This one showed up right in my face. If I hadn't gone through it and experienced it myself so intensely, I probably wouldn't have believed it either. I don't know. Something about Africa just feels so rooted and grounded at home. It was endless white sand beaches with blue, blue water on the coast. But to me, what got me were the, the trees and the foliage there. You felt just so small and it was so beautiful. You were saying some trees that have to be hundreds of years old to even yeah, bear fruit. Yeah, the baobab. So baobab is this one tree that I had known because they are like, oh, the baobab oil now surpassed argan oil. And argan oil is my, my go-to skin hair care oil. that I just always loved. It's from a nut in Morocco. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, baobab surpassed. I'm like, how is that possible? What is this baobab? And they're these majestic trees, and they take 300 years to grow food or fruit. You can grind the fruit. It's like a hard fruit. Grind it into a powder, and it's like six times more vitamin C. There's potassium, magnesium, and fiber. And you just put like a spoonful in your smoothie. It's outstanding. Well, so the tree has to be at least 300 years old before it even starts bearing fruit. Yeah. That's like... Yeah. And so you know they're organic. <laughs> you know? They're, it's they're all, beyond organic. Yeah, it, it's all natural there, organic. Like, it's really, it's magic land for me because I'm just into the plants. The neem yeah. was amazing, these beautiful neem trees. And I didn't know you could just boil the leaves and use the water as astringent or to detox. Like, the trees amazing because I'm not a big fan of neem oil I can't yeah. take the smell but the water was just as potent for me really yeah they say it heals like 40 40 something different diseases or complications wow yeah the neem it's pretty amazing and and so you were over there and you're working on doing some website work for, for what was yeah. this place? My friend Luce Torreforti has a beautiful property called Shallow Heart. So we did her websites, www.shallowheart.com. And it's basically her dream place. She created it so beautifully where there's this big outdoor gallery space where you can have, they've had concerts and art gallery shows and then she created a wellness center so they offer yoga and they have different programs throughout the year where you can go and stay nearby and then they take you on all different journeys shivananda will be there in december and then they're doing an amazing nutrition program in december we're also having a, um, an event so the events there are like something out of a movie it's so beautiful and she has local artists coming okay. from African artists to show their work and then musicians and then all the wellness will be like acro yoga and yoga display. So it's combining art and wellness, bringing awareness to the, the communities. Mm -hmm. And also she started a program with Sajir, who is another um, amazing teacher from India. He has a philosophy called tribalosophy. Okay. And so, so what's that? It is basically bringing you back to nature. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button. The red one. You know the one. Just press it. Little like. All right. Enjoy the rest of this content so that all your senses come back online. So okay. you're more aware and present. And his mission is basically to help regenerate the earth. So with donations and children, orphans sometimes, 
they get donations, they get trees, and they replant the trees throughout Europe and around the world. And I think he planted 7,000 trees so far with the kids. Yeah. And so him and Luce come together and having a program in February that people can come to Africa because it's so out of your normal there. So when you're traveling, this is what's so great about traveling and what I think why I'm so addicted to it, if that's, that's a good word to use. When you're traveling and you're not in your comfort zone, your presence is more there, you're more awake. All your senses are, are more heightened yeah. because it's not familiar. Where when you're in familiar zones, you can sit back and go to sleep a little bit. Yeah, and, and distract yourself. You go into automatic pilot. Bravo. So what he does is he brings you to places, like he brings groups to the jungle in India where there's tigers and God knows what else there. So you have to be on alert, right? And this time he's bringing with Luce groups to Kenya, Africa. And so they'll have the teachings and they have all different things on its experiences. It's not even teachings. He just creates these amazing experiences to wake up all your five senses. I want to go. So your sixth sense can open. This. Right. And you have savanna close by. Uh -huh. So instead of going to the jungle, you're going to the savanna and you have the lions and the, just these beautiful amazing animals in their natural habitat so it's going to be really spectacular a really spectacular week so yeah so they do these programs that are just constantly about bringing people into themselves waking up kind of creating yeah. a new a new way of thinking in the world and more presence and more awareness and not so reliant on the capitalistic system you know because i think that's why we were so into the barter and trade because there's some people that have a lot more than others but then some people have the skills so how can you all come together yeah to really do good on this planet and do good on this planet be in alignment with yourself Bravo. live a level of happiness and joy yeah. peace it's wild. And for me, what's so interesting is like, I keep asking myself, I was like, Sammy, why are you brought to all these beings that are breaking your sense of reality? You know, it started with the Native Americans, one of the um, medicine men from here in Pomona, Nathan Jason Horse. I went to a ceremony with them. And stars actually showed up. The star, they just showed up like little tiny. And I was like, how are they doing this? Like, I'm always a skeptic yeah. looking for it. I was like, oh, there's special effects. And then finally, after the third day, I surrendered to that. And one showed up right in my face. And I was almost like, watch this. And it took off and went like 50 feet in the air before it disappeared. And I was like, well, how do you tell people about that one? You know, yeah. that was my first experience of you know out super, breaking the super, box super of reality natural. right and then you know i told you tibet and now you have your saints in india that are you know manifesting things out of air and energetically i felt it if i hadn't gone through it and experienced it myself so intensely i probably wouldn't have believed it either yeah. you know and i think it's it's all going to reveal itself sooner or later. Something's good's brewing. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.